Hey guys, so this is my review for City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. It is the first book in the Mortal Instruments saga. Here's the cover, the binding, and the back. So uh, let me start off by saying that I had really high expectations for this book. Um, everybody knows about it. Um, you go to pretty much any young adult book review channel and City of Bones is on there. If not, the person running that channel has read it at some point. So um, obviously my expectations were through the roof. Um, let me start off by saying what the story was about. The story focuses on a girl named Clarissa Frey, who goes by Clary. Um, she's 15 years old. She ends up going to a club one night with her best friend Simon. And something happens. It doesn't normally happen when you go out. Um, she witnesses a murder. Um, the odd thing about this murder is that she was the only one who saw the murderers and the person being murdered. So obviously she's confused. Seeing something that other people can't see isn't very comforting for your state of mind. So basically, um, within 24 hours, she is thrust into this world of shadow hunters who are, who are demon killers, um, vampires, werewolves, warlocks, um, demons, obviously, and what brought this on is her mother, Jocelyn, goes missing, um, and then she is attacked by a demon herself. At this point, she is introduced to Jace Wayland and Isabel and Alec Lightwood, who are uh, shadow hunters. Um, basically, from this point on, is the um, the lengths that they go through to get. Uh, Clary's mother back. But in the midst of all that, they have uncovered an even bigger plot that is unfolding that her mother is a very big part of um, that none of them really ever expected. So that was really interesting. Um, first of all, let me say that up until the end, I really loved that book. Li really loved the book. Um, but we'll get to the ending later. Um, as for the story, I really loved the world that Cassandra Clare created. Um, it was very well done. You know, th worlds like these get done a lot, you know, with the, you know, vampires and the werewolves and the warlocks and the fairies and all that. But this was done in a way that wasn't cheesy. Um, a lot of times you get worlds like this that, and it's just over the top and, it's not really believable just because of how corny it is. Um, but Cassandra did in a way that's very, I guess, tastefully done. I, would, I don't know what word to use. So I really love that. Um, you know, it really sucked you in. Uh, the characters, I loved the characters. Um, I thought Clary was a really good, for a 15 year old, um, character she was really great you know she had that perfect mix of being very vulnerable um but at the same time she had a perfect amount of being very strong-willed and standing up for what she thought was right um which i really loved a lot of the times it's too much one way or the other one way or the other either they're too weak and they're just annoying and you want to slap them or they are too um, arrogant and full of themselves that you want to slap them to, but the, she was a good mix and it was way more realistic. As for Jace, I love Jace. I thought he was really, he was a really good character. I really loved him. Um, I also loved Alec Lightwood. I thought he was really great. Cassandra Clare has a way of making these characters, um, you know, there's this character, um, Alaric, who, I'm not gonna say too much about him, but he, there's, she does this thing where 
you meet these characters and as soon as you meet them for some or maybe it's just me but for some reason you like fall in love with them and you want you're rooting for them you don't want them to get hurt and it's characters that you met like two pages earlier and that's very rare um you know all of the characters that were introduced in this book had a purpose a lot of times in books you get characters that are introduced and then they're there for a chapter or two and then they are randomly disappear luckily all these characters really had a purpose and played a big role in what um, the main characters are trying to do ah, the ending um, I am going to have some spoilers for this part um, because I can't properly explain why I didn't like the ending without spoiling it um, so uh, I will tell when I do this you can turn the volume back up but as of now you should probably turn the volume down unless um, you really don't care about spoilers <laughs> so the ending I uh, the ending <laughs> I loved the book up until the ending. Um, it wasn't really the fact that Jace and Clary were brother and sister. And on top of that, they were children. They were Valentine's kids. That's not my issue. Um, my issue <laughs> Is that it wasn't what happened afterwards after that whole battle happened wasn't realistic to me I mean for me personally maybe it's just me but if I had made out with a guy and was starting to fall for them you know starting to fall in love with them and then all of a sudden somebody drops the bombshell that we're brother and sister I wouldn't I couldn't I would not be able to look at him or talk to him or be around him for a very long time I would be traumatized and anytime I looked at him I would be reminded of the fact that we made out and that we were falling in love with each other you know and that's pretty much how it is in the book is like you know a few days or a couple weeks later um, Jace and Clary are just acting like brother and sister like I I just don't think that would happen I think if a bombshell was dropped like that, that's not how it would go down. I think they would avoid each other at all costs for a very long period of time just due to the fact of, oh my god, we made out and we were falling in love with each other and now we're related. And so that's, you know, and it wasn't really acknowledged in the book like that. You know, Clary, it didn't even really cross her mind. You know, she was, I understand that she was worried about, you know, she was concerned with protecting Jace. But, like, even after that, she, it's like the fact that she made out and was falling in love with her brother, it didn't even face her. Like, you know, Jace, at least at the time, was a little bit more traumatized about it. But, you know, you know, at least he did acknowledge the fact that, oh my god, you know, I made out and was falling in love with my sister. But, ugh. so that's why I didn't like the ending. For me, it was just, not only was it way out of left field, but it just seemed unrealistic to me. Like you wouldn't go back a couple weeks later after all that happening and just go back to being like brother and sister. Like that's not how it would happen, I don't think. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it and which is very possible. So yes, that is why I didn't like the ending. So turn the volume up. So um so because of that ending, I ended up giving City of Bones a 2 out of 3 rating rather than a 3 out of 3 rating because it and it really bums me out because as I was reading this book literally time after time in my head I was like oh this book's gonna get a 3 out of 3 I really love this book I really love this book but uh it just didn't do it <laughs> um so because of that I know I said that I was going to read Clockwork Angel after right after this but I think I think I sort of need a break from this Cassandra Clare's world <laughs> um, so I am just going to go right into reading 
The Scorched Trials by James Dasher. I've actually already started it. I think I'm about five chapters in. Um, so yeah, I will read Clockwork Angel at some point, um, for sure. As for the rest of the Moral Instrument saga, I don't know. I probably will end up picking up City of Ashes at some point, but it, um, as of this point in time, it is not my priority. Um, with all the other books that like I want to read and that I have to read, it's not a priority, and I'll pick it. I'll pick it up eventually, probably. Um, so yeah, I have started reading The Scorched Trials. If you want to keep up with um, my progress with that, you can add me on Goodreads. I'll put the link um, in the description box. So yeah, City of Bones, two out of three. Unfortunately, I'm probably the only one who didn't like the ending. But what are you going to do? Alright, so I will see you in a few days, maybe sooner, I might do a movie review. Who knows? Alright, bye.